Welcome to Monday. Welcome to Monday Positivity. And it is positively freezing here in Westport, Washington. <laughs> and you can see there's plenty of snow on the ground. Not a ton, but it is snowing like crazy. So uh, it's making the search for Rocker Bob just a little bit more difficult. But you know what? One thing we really work on is what? <laughs> Staying positive, working through challenges, knowing what you need to do and what you don't need to do. and staying focused so I'm staying focused here and I have been told that there has been strange sounds of music strange musical sounds coming out of this building here so I'm going to make my way to this building here and see what I can find as I daintily walk through the snow Bob's inside, so I don't know. I gotta wait for the owner to get in and see if we can get inside and explore and see if Bob's in there. I don't know. So in the meantime, well, I'm waiting for this guy to get home and check out what's going on inside this building here. Uh, here is Gabrielle and Rocker Bob with the National Day House. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's warm. It's Monday. It's a holiday Monday. It is February the 15th, smack dab in the middle of the month. Well, not really because it's a short month, you know, leap year, last year, blah, blah, blah. Not as many days, but it is President's Day. We're off today. I still gotta come and give you the national day of. It's not President's Day. It's not what I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you it's National Gumdrop Day. That's not the kind of gum that you chew and blow a bubble with. No, the little gumdrops, you know, the little, uh, they're like little sugary coated all over and they're a bunch of different colors and you decorate with them. They're really good to use on a gingerbread house. Uh, they're chewy and sugary. They're pretty good. I never know what color to pick. I'm not a big fan of the green one. I don't know why, but I'm just not a big fan but they were invented by accident by a chemist named Percy Trus Truesdale, I believe, in 18 or 19, early 1900s. He was a chemist at Ohio State and he had like what they called a gumdrop and then he messed around with the biology of it and the chemistry of it and he began to make the ones that we all know now. And then he ended up in 1916 opening his own candy facility. And he was making those gumdrops until he passed away in 1948. And in his obituary, they said he was the gumdrop king. So go out and get some of those yummy little things. I don't have any. I got to go get me some because I really do like them in moderation. You get the multicolored ones. That way you get more. You feel better about it. So everybody have a great day on your day off today on National Gumdrop Day. Oh, <laughs> this has been such a great adventure for the, the Rucker Bob dude, you know. I, uh, I've i been up here in the West Portland and uh, working on uh, you know gig and uh, working on uh, you know some crabbing board and... Uh, mm -hmm. Playing music all over town now. Kind of cold here though. Kind of, kind of snowy. Kind of, kind of windy. Kind of, kind of rainy. <clears throat> but we got a national day to do, eh? 
International Day, be the come and drop day. Ooh, everybody that you come and drop. Make it feel good on the cold outside. Hey, it's the come drop day. Good fisher dudes. <laughs> well, unfortunately, still waiting for a gentleman to get back. It's very cold out here, so I'm tired of waiting. It's freezing. It is uh, approximately 32 degrees, and uh, I haven't heard anything coming out of this building, so I'm starting to doubt whether Rocker Bob's here. But we got to still just explore every building to make sure. So, um, so we'll check in now. Uh, we'll see what uh, Ray's got going. Another gentleman that's uh, very interesting uh, in his story. So check that out right here. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Happy Monday. So I'm back again with another feature this week. Another famous person who's done incredible things despite having struggled with a disability. Check it out. From the world of baseball, this week's feature is the great Jim Abbott. James Anthony Abbott is an American former baseball pitcher. He is known for his success at the major league level despite having been born without a right hand. Abbott played 10 seasons in Major League Baseball for California Angels, New York Yankees, Chicago White Sox, and the Milwaukee Brewers from 1989 to 1999. Okay, so I've heard the gentleman's going to be here pretty quick, and uh, hopefully we can get inside. And uh, like I said, I haven't heard anything, I haven't seen anything. Uh, Bob was smart, he left this crazy cold place and went back to California where it's kind of warm. All right, so uh, here's Zach with the bearded past or back in the past, whichever one it is. It's gonna be, wherever he is, it's warmer than this. Whether it's past, present, and or future, he's warmer than I am. Hey, hey everybody, it is Monday, the 15th of February. Can't believe it, my gosh. Have a little week. Things are crazy. The beard's a little shorter, I guess. But the hair is for sure. But, you no, know, we have more hair than all the rest of the guys in the whole entire company. <laughs> what you gonna do? Except for go back in the bearded past with Zach. 1764 today on this date in history. Um, St. Louis, Missouri was founded. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri uh, originally was founded as a French colony. And uh, so it was just kind of a French colony, French outpost. Uh, the French owned a lot of that land. Eventually coming to 1803, Lewis and Clark expedition. And of course we purchased the uh, Louisiana Purchase. So there you go with that. All right, 1804, New Jersey becomes the last northern state to abolish slavery. So northern states, we, we think of the Civil War as the end of slavery. But remember, the northern states were abolishing slavery well before this. New Jersey is the last northern state in 1804. So that means we had to go to war 60, 59, no, no, not 59, like 50, seven years later in order to completely end it. Really amazing, really amazing. The first U.S. printed ballot authorized in Pennsylvania in 1799 as well. So uh, a little bit of voting there. Um, and then let's go with this last but not least. Sarah Roberts was barred from white school in Boston. So pretty... Uh, you know, just kind of, you know, shows the, the, the racial issues of the country back during this time and how we have grown with so much more we need to grow. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday the 15th. Thanks for going to Bearded Task with Zach. 
All right, gentlemen's here. I'm headed over. We'll see what happens. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, Monday. It is President's Day, so there's no program today, but uh, well, some of us are still working. Anyway, have a great rest of your Monday. We'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday where hopefully I'll have found Rocker Bob.